One of the cool things that we believe here at Meta is that we're a platform to help developers create their new businesses around augmented reality. Ultra Haptics specialize in mid-air haptic technology. So you can feel things without actually touching anything. You're just uh, getting sensations onto your bare skin uh, through the air. At Zero Light, we specialize in creating lifelike 3D model for the automotive industry. We wanted to bring these three technologies together to allow the user to see, hear, and feel, and really be immersed in this truly new experience. We're in the business of augmenting your reality to be more productive. And what better way to add more immersion by actually feeling the holograms with your own hands. When you press something, you get a, a clicking sensation on your hand, uh, as you'd expect if you pressed a real button. In the experience, you can explore every single part of the car. So you can look in close to the engine, feel it vibrate, feel the haptic feedback, hear the sound as the engine rumbles. And we've synced up the uh, haptics to the audio. As the engine revs up, uh, you actually feel it uh, vibrate stronger on your hand. A lot of experiences that you see now will just be the virtual objects, but adding in the real world aspect of augmented reality, you can really see that this virtual world is going to become more and more realistic as the technology develops. It's been great working with Meta on Ultra Haptics. They each bring their own specialisms to this area and they both have amazing hardware. Zero Light offers the best rendering capabilities to really highlight how cars can be visualized through an augmented reality headset. And of course, Ultra Haptics provides haptic feedback that makes that experience lifelike. And that's one of the main reasons we're excited to partner with them for the CES demo. We're really looking forward to see how people will react to this brand new experience. I'm really excited to see where it goes and how we're actually using this in five, 10 years time.